What is up guys? We are back for another episode of Need for Speed. Continuing on with off-road racing. Got Desert Spanner. Prove yourself to Udo. You're not all show by beating his crew in race across uh, um, um, ah, Ember Valley Desert. Alright. So I did a little upgrading. <clears throat> Got myself a little better. So I have a stand a good chance of winning. No more playing nice. Bury this loser in the dirt. Yap, yap, yap. You keep talking, but I keep winning. Buckle up. I mean, it's even harder at, like, driving in a truck and beating all these cars. Get all the items I can. I got six. Okay, six left. Come on. Dang it. I'm catching you, Bell. Okay, five. <laughs> this is all legal. Four. Can't let up now. Whoa, 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 easy, easy. Oh, come on. One more thing. One more thing. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Yo. That was so close. It had me on edge. I'm like, he's about to pass me. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, close races, they're really exhilarating. You know that? I can tell you from experience. It's, it's really fun. Make sure just adrenaline pump. Oof, you just you're like, oh my gosh, it's so close. Ah oh, man, um, you know what? You can trade these things in for um those little blue things at the top right corner. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, and they do have a Be new abandoned. Okay, go ahead, talk. Time I put that ridiculous notion to rest. Does that mean I'll have the pleasure of kicking your ass, Udo? Tell you what, beat me, and I'll tell you where you can find a derelict. Name the time and place. <clears throat> I'm still on the lookout for that uh, Mustang derelict. Gotta go find that. But, um, they do have a new abandoned car out. I'm still looking for it, haven't found it yet. Uh, I'll probably post it this week because they're, apparently now they're keeping up with the new abandoned cars each week. So, at first it wasn't, it was a little inconsistent, but now it's, it's different. Oh, okay. Made my point. All right, let's go finish Udo off. You've proven yourself to Udo by defeating his races, beating him in a head-to-head -head off road race through the desert, which he will give you the location of a special derelict. I'm looking good for this race. <laughs> Ooh. Jump 65 yards and win the race. That I think I can do. <clears throat> Come Udo. You're ready for this, Udo. Oh yeah, we're gonna have some 
I like his rap. It's in very interesting. Oh, you see the dirt on my... <laughs> Dirty Diesel's rolling coal. See ya. Woohoo! Gotta keep an eye on him. It's a good thing I got all this NOS. So even if he does pass me, I'll have a chance to catch up with him. Yippee! Oh, that was a single jump right there. Mm-hmm. You know it. Well, look at that. I'm already ahead of you. Shut it. Okay. Oh, so this is where you could get the the jump if you didn't get that little bump on the road. On the little hill thing that I jumped over the first time. So oh, now you know. Alright. Looking good in this race. I'm pretty impressed with myself, actually. After losing that first race, when we first started with off-road racing, you know, this, this is a good, it's a good comeback from that. I'm looking good. Please, Udo, tell me how we'll talk again. Shut up and drive. I am. <laughs> I'm smoking your behind. Or I guess you could say I, I'm dusting here behind. <laughs> All you see is my dust. <laughs> What's a bird like you doing in America anyway? I like the weather. Come on. This is the birthplace of desert racing and the trophy truck. <laughs> Good answer. That was the theory anyway. Reality is a little less glamorous. Actually, you know what? Since we're making such such good time with this, I think I could squeeze in um looking for the Mustang. Say, Leak 73. Any connections to the airfield? Yeah man, we used to sneak in there to scope out the UFOs when it was a secret military base. Tried to off-road out of there when they spotted. That's amazing. Wait, for real? I'm trying to get this thing on my eye. I'm like, ugh, got it. All right, it's final lap, home stretch. I don't see him in sight. My God. Ah, God damn it! Yeah, I'd be mad too if I were you. <laughs> <laughs> know what? I am taking a selfie to celebrate this. What's Hush Tiger at? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, we went for the middle. How about this one? Um, it's not really for this car, but uh, I guess I'll take it. And that's the end of Udo right there. Ooh. Sylvia Spec R Aero. Okay. Volkswagen GTI Club Sport. Ford F-150 Raptor. That trail's tough as hell, but you handled it like a champ. The location of the derelict 240Z is yours. You're legit off-road in my book. Thanks. You're not so bad yourself. We'll stay off the airfield from now on. You earned that much. Better yet, stop by the shop sometime. Maybe Rav can set you up with an engine worth a damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'll think about it. See you around, fresh meat. We'll be here if you want a challenge. All right. Well, I guess we right. have. I might know where to find the 240Z body. Excellent. Bring it to the garage if you find it. With the right bot, you might be able to fix it up. Also. The League 73 boys will leave you alone from now on. You're the man, Mac. Oh. 
I already found the chassis. What does this look like? It's definitely desert, but zoom in. Hmm. Where are you? Eeny meeny. There's a Y shape in it. Okay, look, be on the lookout for a Y shape. Mm. Y shape and a curve. I don't see anything with a Y. I mean that that's not what I'm looking for now. Um Shucks. What could it be? Hmm. I don't really know. It's a good question. The road goes down and it curves to the right. But there's a Y here. Maybe I'm not, I'm, I'm looking into this wrong. Um, okay, let me, let me see there, look here. So it's definitely in the desert. Next to a windmill. Huh. Oh, you know what? I think that that little X spot in the middle there, that looks like the airfield. That makes sense a little bit. Maybe it's that. Let me see. Airfield. Because there's an X. And... Here's the Y, right here. Somewhere around here. Yeah. Something like that. Okay, let's see if we could fast travel there. Uh, da, da, da. Should do. Now I want to go here and fast travel here. We gonna find this chassis. So I know I'm close. Let's see here. Oh, there it is. Right there. Now where I bet there's a useful Aha. part around here. It's around here. Let's have a look. Where is it? Wait, hold on, it was blinking faster. Hold on. Oh, there it is. Nissan 240Z. This is before me. I mean, I, I came in when there was like the 350. Is that from a Nissan 240Z? 350Z. So. All right, we found it. Maybe we can find like a little piece for it since we're out here. Um, uh, you know what? We should probably go for this one. Cause we were just here, weren't we? Yeah, it's right, like right around here. I'll find that uh, piece, and I think we'll end the episode there. It's been interesting so far. I like this game. It's um something different from like the 2015 version of Need for Speed. 
with the like, street racing. I, I like that concept, but the problem with that was it was always night. There was no day, no sunset, no dusk, nothing like that. So it got boring. I mean, the cars were good. The story was pretty good, too, but... I was not digging the rest of it. You know what? I think that little hump is how I get up. Oh, there it is. Yeah, look. That's just the only thing that I didn't really... I, I got bored of right there. So, just, let, just letting you guys know. Just my opinion, you know. Alright. Got another piece of the... Well... Well, our first piece of the oh, it's called the Fair Lady 240Z G. Okay, I'll be on the lookout for the abandoned car, but that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, guys. This is. Mm -hmm.